so I want to talk about weave GitOps and scaling teams, right? And so one of the things that you know we talk about is all the different application teams you have working, all the different repositories, and all of the the new code that they're just constantly pushing every day, right? And this is a reality of that situation. And ultimately, we're trying to get that onto Kubernetes so Kubernetes can do what it does best and run that software for you so you have that resiliency and uptime that you've come to expect. And so Weave GitOps is a suite of tools that is ultimately trying to help simplify working with GitOps Flux, and ultimately it's focused on that application lifecycle management and application delivery. And so one of the first components is the GitOps dashboard. And so we, we've gone, we've created a UI for Flux that is Flux central, right? And we're going to be demoing it a little bit later here. And really this is making Flux a first class citizen within the dashboard. You have your sources, your automations, and you're able to dive into them, see what they're producing for you, what's their current state, pausing those reconcilers so you can debug. And it provides a, just a simple way to just get started with Flux quickly because you can see what it's creating, you can see what it's doing. And we're aiming to make the UI very intuitive. And that's not it though. Our enterprise version of the, of the GitOps dashboard also has extended features as well, right? We want to simplify the ability to create clusters. Or if you've already created your clusters, right? You, you already have your own process, whether you're talking about Terraform or Crossplane or simply ClickOps to create those clusters, you can go ahead and connect it to the enterprise dashboard, giving you the single pane of glass, right? Which is a very powerful thing when you have a Flux customization that's running on three different clusters and being able to see whether it's in sync across all of those clusters and that you have the right version of your software running. And then there's the compliance piece as well. So with, with Weave GitOps, you get a new set of policies that you can create, these custom resources, and they, allow you to have governance and compliance on your clusters or even for resources outside of your cluster. And so we're constantly able to monitor and make sure that your clusters are in compliance and let you know if not. Another nice addition to that though is the CI violation checks, right? Like it's not good enough to check for compliance once it's on the cluster. You want to try to catch these things before you even merge code. And so a lot of the violation tooling that's already built in onto the cluster running in controllers can actually be integrated into your CI pipeline. So before the code is even merged on a pull request, you can get that thumbs up that yes, this looks good. It's safe, it's safe to uh, merge to the branch that you're pointing to. But most importantly, my favorite thing about Weave GitOps is that it's Flux extended, right? Flux has this incredible architecture. It's super powerful and it's being integrated all over the place, right? As Tomo was saying before, there are a lot of customers that are just using Flux out of the box. And as we're building Weave GitOps, we're trying to build all of these components to really fit that Flux model where we're adding new controllers and new custom resources. And so you can really pick and choose to meet your own needs. For instance, we have a bootstrap controller. And when you go and create new clusters, you can bootstrap Flux automatically onto them. The emission controller is constantly doing those compliance checks for you. And we have other controllers that we're planning in the near future. And the nice addition to this is, of course, being notified when things don't go right. So Flux already ships with an incredible notification system. You know when your sources are syncing, you know when your customizations and how releases have reconciled, and you're able to send these events to Slack, Teams, generic webhook. And so we are adding on to that, right? By adding more meaningful notifications, such as on the compliance side, so you can send those to your monitoring systems and can act accordingly. 
But I want to take a moment to really focus on why we're here and why we've GitOps and what the mission we've GitOps is trying to really accomplish. And with that, some of the tooling that we're building in the near future to help meet those needs. And it really starts with the developer, right? And ultimately, the developer is trying to get some new features for your customers onto a cluster. And there's a lot of moving pieces between all of this, right? You have a container registry that the software developer keeps all of their latest images in. And to simplify your life, you bootstrap your cluster with Flux and install Weave GitOps. And now you're getting this reconciliation loop where you're constantly pulling in the latest changes from branches on the Git repository. And so here, our developer opens a pull request and it goes through the normal flow, right? We have a application develop, another application developer on their team reviewing the code. You have CI pipelines. Again, we have that CI, CI violation check that's occurring as well. And when everything's good to go, the code gets merged to main. And then once it's merged to main, right, a new CI pipeline kicks off and builds that new image. And at that point, Flux kicks in and it's able to, oops, sorry. Uh, I am having a, oh, technical difficulties here. It's able to upload that new image onto the, um, upload that image onto the cluster. But it's not that simple, right? Because you don't have one cluster. And if you do, in the near future, you're going to have more clusters as you need to scale and meet new demands. And so in this example, we have a dev cluster and a production cluster. And it's still not even that simple because on the dev cluster, you have a dev and staging environment. So your application is running the same version of that application or different versions of that application are running on this cluster. And so you wanna be able to roll it out. So you open another pull request and you merge that to staging and then that cluster's updated. And then you open another pull request to get it to prod. And then at that point, everything gets merged. And once all that is said and done, the application developer is already rolling out with the new version and the whole process is starting over again, right? But even if we focus just on them, it's not just them, right? You have teams of developers working on different Git repositories and they're constantly pushing new code. And they all have their different types of workflows and, and pipelines in terms of how they operate and how they work. And they're constantly every day pushing new images into these container registries. And really that is the power of Flux ultimately, right? Because it's sitting on the cluster and it's looking at all those different repositories and it's uploading that software and it's updating the appropriate environments for you. But then, right, you're not just talking about a single cluster. As you scale, you're talking about a lot of different clusters. And so this just problem gets harder and harder and harder and more complex, especially as your business becomes more and more successful. And so that's why we're here though, right? We want to simplify these things. We want to make it easy to use these workflows to keep application developers contained in boxes. And we want to enable platform operators to enable application teams to go about their day-to-day -day business, which is building new features for your customers. And so here, I want to talk a little bit about some of the upcoming features that we're looking at with Weave GitOps. So on how we're trying to meet this demand, how are we trying to accomplish this and how are we trying to simplify all these problems, right? And again, it all starts with our developer. So we're looking at creating a GitOps and DX experience, right? Kind of right now, GitOps can get in the way of a developer, right? They're trying to code, they're trying to test their changes and uh, you know, with GitOps, they have to constantly push, 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 wait for it to reconcile. And we want to close that gap. We want to give them a seamless experience and we want to make Kubernetes and Flux ultimately disappear for them so they can focus on what they do best, which again is building features for your customers. And then 
right? We talked about the different workflows. Every team has their different ways of delivering software. And so we're really focusing in on how can we make it easy to set up these pipelines where these, the, where your engineering teams are able to roll this software out consistently, they can do extra checks, verifications, and roll it out through different environments until it safely gets to production. And then on top of that, right, Flux Extended, we're also looking at uh, building out a Terraform controller here at Weaveworks, because when you're creating a cluster, you're not just creating a cluster. There's a lot more that goes, uh, a lot more scaffolding that gets built around it, you know, whether it's a load balancer, network policies, IAM, you know, you're using a cloud provider, multiple cloud providers, or you're hybrid with an on-prem instance, and you need a way to manage this infrastructure. And we're trying to, we think Terraform is an incredible technology, and we also want to make sure that you're able to monitor and detect drift as well with your Terraform files and make it just as seamless to work with it as you can today with customizations and Helm releases in Flux. And then the GitOps dashboard, we're not done. You'll see in the demo that while we did capture the primary objects such as sources, customizations, and Helm releases, that there's still a lot left to do. We wanna add notifications. We wanna add the Terraform. On the enterprise side, there's additional stuff such as policies and canaries. And so we're constantly improving this experience. We wanna add more and more just to make it valuable for debugging and making sure your applications are deployed the way you want them to be deployed. And when something does go wrong, you're able to get to the tooling or figure out and diagnose the problem quickly. And five, well, in addition, we're looking at workspaces, right? Again, it's about enabling application teams. And so we want to enable platform operators to know that application teams are free to do what they need to do, but are also staying within the bounds that are comfortable for the platform operator that meets the company and organization's compliance and governance standards. And that if they ever deviate outside of that box, one, it's near impossible to, but if they happen to, you get notified so it can be resolved as quickly as possible. And then finally, fleets, right? We are looking at progressive delivery and really looking at more advanced scenarios for shipping your software. And the start of that is by integrating Flagger into the Weave GitOps dashboard so you can quickly see canaries across multiple clusters, see them running through their various gates, and then we have other plans to build on top of that once that work is done. And so again, right, as you're scaling and you get more and more clusters, it's really important to get these extra insights in terms of how your applications are being delivered. So really quick, I just want to show a super quick demo of the current Weave GitOps dashboard. The core team was nice enough to cut a release candidate for me this morning, so it's definitely uh, a little bit beta, but um, that works. And I am struggling to swap screens. All right. So here I'm logging into the Weave GitOps dashboard. Hopefully I have this on a, a GitHub code space and I hope it's still running in the background. Uh-oh, see that's what I get for updating to the latest release candidate. Let me refresh this quick. So what I am going to show you really quick is how you can see your automations. Uh, yeah, my code space is acting up right now. So I might have shot myself in the foot here, um, getting a bad gateway. Uh, let's, let's take a look quick. All right, I might just be restarting it. Let's see. All right, try one more time. I got lucky. Sweet. So here I'm logged into the Weave GitOps dashboard. This is the core dashboard. So you don't have any of the cluster management or policies that you would typically get in the enterprise. 
I unfortunately just didn't have a lot of time to sign up. But when you log in, right, you can quickly see all of your customizations and Helm releases right here. You can see that I have a couple Helm releases that are having issues and the error message install retries exhausted. You can see that I had suspended one of them. So I can quickly see that that one in particular is not going to sync. And I can drill down into some of these and well, not into some of these, into all of them and quickly get insights about what is being created and what is happening under the hood. And so you get a graph view as well to go and inspect. And we also have the YAML that's printed out for these particular objects. And the nice thing about this is, right, it's super easy to get all of this information quickly and and another nice addition is the you can see the container images that are attached to your deployments and your pods because again we're really trying to help you know what software is running on the system right now so you can quickly diagnose things here is a source page and so here you have your helm repositories your git repositories and buckets and so you can drill into them for instance if i go to this playhub one you could see the uh, repo that it's connected to, as well as that I have three different customizations set up for this particular repository. And you can see that they have all reconciled and that they're all on the same commit. And so again, this is just trying to create a very fluid and easy way to uh, work with Flux right off the bat. And I see I was able to just suspend it right there and I can quickly resume it again. And then with the Flux runtime page, you also get Helm controller. Um, you get all the different controllers that are running for Flux, as well as what versions those are running on. And so it's really exciting. This is just the beginning for the dashboard. We have a lot of great features planned, but I just wanted to at least give a current snapshot of what the project is and um, how it's going. Uh, so I'll stop there.